In Acts chapter 5 verse 42 it says, Day after day, in the temple courts, and from house to house, they never stopped teaching and proclaiming the good news that Jesus is the Christ. You see, they do it in the temple courts, which is the ga large group gathering, but they also do it from house to house. House to house is small groups. By doing small groups, we are doing what the first generation church did, to reach those in their community with the good news of Jesus, who is the Christ. A small group is simply a gathering of people outside of a corporate worship service who come together to fulfill and live out the Great Commission and Great Commandment. The Great Commandment says, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And the Great Commission says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. Love your neighbor as yourself. In small groups, we break down these scriptures into five essential and unique purposes. They are worship, fellowship, discipleship, ministry, and evangelism. Each of these are present within a small group. Part of a small group is worshiping God. We can worship God in several ways. Just to name a few, we can sing, sit and reflect to worship music, spend extended time in prayer, or celebrate the Lord's Supper together. Worship is a time for us to release the grind of life and allow our spirits to be more open to hear what God and the other group members have to say to us. A small group needs to be a place where it's safe to share about your lives. The way you can do this is by fellowshipping with one another, joining each other in the, so in the ups and downs of your everyday life, inviting those in your small group in and share with the people around you what's going on in your life. Fellowship is a huge part to feeling comfortable in a small group. For some groups, fellowship is just comes naturally. For others, it may need a little prodding, We'd recommend just putting out a snack and you'll see that as people gather to eat, they naturally fellowship with one another. Fellowship is so important because when the hard times hit for someone, it's great to know that there's people there who know them and love them. The Bible tells us how God wants us to respond to life's difficult situations. In a small group, we can dig into what the Bible is telling us, either by direct Bible study or studying other books or studies that are biblically based. So in a nutshell, what is small group life all about? We call it doing life together. Having a group of people that will celebrate the good times with you, encourage and love you through the challenging times, and who will grow with you to put aside the selfish parts of our personality and become transformed into the people God wants us to be. Luke 3, 8 says, Prove by the way you live that you have really turned your, from your sins and turned to God. We do this together in community.